this paper was the result of, a, of an idea that incubated for a couple of years. So the first time I read about the Christmas truce, which, is, which was an event uh, that happened around Christmas in 1914 in World War I, and that, um, that interrupted the war uh, for uh, a couple of days uh, when British and uh, German troops uh, fraternized uh, was such an extraordinary event of resistance that um, I thought that this was the uh, one uh, of those events that deserves to be studied on its own. One day uh, at a conference of the, uh, the Process Organization Research Group in Greece, I met a colleague, Nick Wiedemann from Germany, uh, who was studying, by coincidence, uh, strategic truces. So, at the end of the dinner, it was decided that this was going to be a paper that we would co-author and we joined forces with, uh, with another colleague, Stuart Clegg, to explain how improvisation uh, played a part in the construction of resistance in these extremely adverse circumstances. So how can people stop a war and play football with the enemy uh, without permission from uh, superiors? Uh, another reason why we found the example uh, or the case important uh, has to do with the fact that it shows that even in the worst moments, it's possible for people uh, to keep its humanity alive.